Looking left, now in trouble, in traffic, he's taken down, back at the 13, and quickly back to his feet, but Hayward able to come in for him, and he has been in there a couple of games, but Pack went out, and again, Mayfield runs into T.J. Watt, the last guy he wanted to see, lost of three teams will make it, he was, here's Mayfield in second and eight, and it's Landry, he lost the ball at the end. Oh my goodness. No. Schobert, the former Brown, broke it up. And who else but TJ Watt has the football in his hand. Crowded backfield on second down. They run it with Algier again. And this time the Steelers were ready for it. In there, a rookie out of Texas A&M on the line. Third and nine. Brown crumbling. Pocket down. He goes. What? At the 12. Of course, a punt or a field goal attempt. Eighth play of the drive. Steelers lead the Bengals 7 0. Burrow, play action. That ball gets knocked up in the air. Incomplete. TJ Watt. Motion man Higgins. Oh, blown up by Watt. What's going to happen from a defensive perspective and then nailing it? TJ Watt. Well, Collins came over from Dallas, three year, $21 million deal. They added Kappa, Karras, Volson. And it's Watt again! TJ Watt on the turnover! Blitzberg is back! Motion man is Boyd. Burrow steps up. And he's dumped. T.J. Watt got a running start. Lost his helmet. Sack of the day for the Pittsburgh defense. And they're trying to they're trying to run what they call a trap pass, meaning the guard pulls and ends up blocking to the opposite side. Cordell Volson, the rookie out of North Dakota State. First and goal. Inside the one. Handed off. Mixon blown up and a loss on the play. T.J. Watt. Always better than what people think. Now it's third and 13. Allen steps up. Allen hit from behind. T.J. Watt, the ball is free. Loose football. Steelers believe they got it. Recovered by the defense. Cameron Hayward on the recovery. Look at Watt, number 90. He didn't feel like he played very well against Darrell Williams. Roethlisberger, 188 passing yards and a touchdown. Flag is down. Allen is dumped by T.J. Watt. <laughs> and Watt saying, don't take the flag. Give me the sack. Stack receivers Go. off to the right of Carr. Fake the handoff. Rush coming. Carr is engulfed. And he coughs it up. A fumble on the strip by Watt. And now they're going to have to peel off the pile. Steelers claim they've got it. It is for this Broncos offense. He was the third running back taken this year. Harris for Pittsburgh was the first. And how about that play? Who else but T.J. Watt, the highest paid defender in the National Football League? Heck of a place to start at Pittsburgh on the road. Primetime game. Steelers always bring it at night. Smith had his arm hit by T.J. Watt in the pass. Is incomplete. Going to throw for it. Smith. Has his pass knocked down. T.J. Watt. Oh. At 36. Smith has it deflected by T.J. Watt. Second time he's done that. Tonight. Again at age 31. Got a chance here. Tied at 31. Collins. T.J. Watt. Rolls around to get him. Ball was fumbled by Collins. You saw that in four. He was bringing five. In trouble. Watt. Brings him down. Maybe the last time your offense sees the ball. Geno Smith will drop deep. He'll pump. He'll take it. Lost the football. Knocked out by Watt. Recovered by Devin Bush, who circles the right way. He almost lost the ball. But he's got it at the 16. And the Smith fumble forced by the defensive. This is a 30-10. Hubbard under pressure, and he's going to go down. That's T.J. Watt. He's like, I'm going to make you talk about me. There he is. Uh, 
working on uh, Taylor Moten on that right side against this wide receiver core, and it looks as if they're doing the same thing on this play. Darnold looking several ways, and he can't get rid of it. He goes down just inside the 15-yard line. Raiders are up seven here in Pittsburgh. Carr, another tip ball. So, Bucci, what, what are those busts saying? Is, is John saying on NFL Why Network? Carr hands off to Jacobs, and he's taken down by T.J. Watt. He's back, coming here off the edge, winning the one-on-one. -on -one. You see the great dip. Goff, he is going to be sacked. And there's T.J. Watt. Coming up for Lamar Jackson and company. And here's a handoff to McCrary, who they just brought up off the practice squad, Nate McCrary. He can take a sack once in a while. That's okay. They're lying, you know, all these things. They're not going to great every year. Second and five, and he's in trouble now. They got him for a second sack. It's T.J. Watts. And that's the number one seed in the AFC. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't make sense. And I got a question for you after this play. Second and eight. Got a hand on him. Oh, and they were able to double team and Watt comes over to finish it off. It was Warmly who got to him first. He's having a big day. Duvernay shifting around. Jackson looks him off. And Watt has hold of him. And he'll not let him go any further. Sacks him at the 20. But watch <laughs> this. Push him back, Phillips. Boom. Throw him out of the way, Reggie White style. And he gets out of that sack a lot, but not. When T.J. Watt grabs you, more key going on. You got to get rid of this ball when they keep coming after you here, Lamar. Second and ten. They're on him. And the ball comes out. It's running to the sideline. It'll be Baltimore retaining possession. Stripped away by T.J. Watt. But the flag. To the game's first first down for Baltimore. It's no gain on that one. As Robinson was part of the party to stop Dot. Ricard in motion. It's a first down run inside. It was almost nowhere. Maybe an official yard for Gus Edwards. And TJ Watt comes up with the tackle. And asked for it to have it done. And man, has he been a different player? He's out. Gus Edwards is in. Yeah. Huntley's got TJ Watt. He was shot out of a cannon around the end of this line of scrimmage. And it was just no question. Almost in field goal range as they take over. They're taking over. <laughs> Five offensive plays each time around. No extended drive. Batted up in the air by TJ Watt. And falls harmlessly to the turf. TJ Watt swings him around and brings him down. The NFL sack leader. Pressure from the Steelers. Mayfield in trouble. And he's going to be taken down. Who else but T.J. Watt? In. I got him down, though. I got him down. Second and seven. That's batted down. T.J. Watt. Cracked ribs and all. Watt is having himself a night, and he's got some words for Baker. Yes, indeed. Who I like a lot. He is good. Oof. There's T.J. Watt. That's and wow. there's sack number four for what? 20 years ago. This I mean, is, this is why you're not throwing the ball down the field. Yeah, well, I mean, are you going to give Dave, Dave Hudson a rookie some help yeah. against the guy who's one of the baddest pass rushers in the NFL? Give to Alvin Kamara to begin the day. He gets swallowed up, and T.J. Watt is right in the thick of things, along with Cameron Hayward. We're back right now. That's a guy that's going to be a difference maker for the Saints. A design run for Taysom Hill, and it's swallowed up yet again. Larry Ogunjobi is in with T.J. Watt. They converted their last one. Dalton running out of time. And he gets caught up to by T.J. Watt to shut down the drive. Let's stick with the ground game here. Jordan Howard doesn't have a lot of space because of T.J. Watt. Closing in on the backside of the running back. Stintley makes this one of the top defensive front fours in the National Football League. On second and six, play fake this time, and Burrow throws, and that one appeared to have been tipped as it left his hand. It'll be third and six. Taking away the deep ball and the big ball from offenses. Nowhere to go for Burrow. 
That's Alex Highsmith. Highsmith on one side. He's going to go up and under, and then watch Watt play off of Collins. So Highsmith is going to get the original pressure. Burrow. Oh, did TJ really Watt, did he pick that? Oh, my goodness. What a job by TJ Watt. This is going to be one of the best interception, Greg, that you'll ever see. But look at this. I don't even know how you possibly do that. That is one of the best plays by a defensive lineman I think I have ever seen in all my years of playing or watching football. Watson can't get away and goes down. Back at the 39-yard line, T.J. Watt, Cameron Hayward, the two big guns on defense. To hold up pretty well, considering we haven't really said T.J. Watt's name too much in this game. This is Chubb, and Chubb not able to go anywhere. Speaking of T.J. Watt. Back out there for the Colts, third down, Ryan Woods makes the catch, and he's short of first down yardage, tackled by Watt. Oh. Fields out of the gun, got a piece of him, not enough, but now he's dragged down. Back at the 42, who else? T.J. Watt for the Steelers. Second down and eight. Pressure, didn't see it. Watt got there. T.J. Watt, second sack of the night. Steelers rush four. Fields wanted to run the whole time and he was taken down. T.J. Watt, his third sack of the night. You get a quick five on it out. Fields, that's what they were thinking. It's batted down at the line of scrimmage. T.J. Watt continues to fill up the stat sheet. Throw it, something in the back of the end zone. Tannehill, he has the time and finally they get to it back at the 15. And it's T.J. Watt. And Greg. He stays over here, he comes down. Here's a third and 13. Watt coming after him, and he is sacked back at the 18. By the tight end, 86. He gets out of his stance late, Furcher, and he actually hurts the tackle. From the 36, he lost the snap. Falls on the ground. Oh, oh this is as they ball. have it. Who's ball? Oh, Pittsburgh got it. I thought Foreman had jumped in there in time, but not able to out-wrestle the bottom of that pile. TJ's brother, Derek, saving the touchdown from the 23. Now Mahomes on the run, and it's going to be picked off. Deflected and picked off, and back to the 30-yard line goes Devin Bush. Pleaded his case to no avail. Williams is now the back. He drops it. Again. And again. Second time. And it's picked up by T.J. Watt with the play alive into the end zone. He goes. Hardman was in Wildcat. They run a trick. And back we go. So Hardman takes it. Williams loses it and then loses it again. Well, Williams was pretty limited in practice this week. You wonder how many times they got a chance to practice it. But who would have thunk it? The Pittsburgh Steelers, after doing absolutely nothing on offense, are going. But still capable. Low snap, look out. And he gets drilled on the play by T.J. Watt. T.J. Watt has got himself into the history books, and the Ravens turn it over. Georgia 66 is the best baller at guard. Left side. Hundley holds, steps up, Hundley sacks T.J. Watt, NFL history.